Welcome, Charnado Nation, to a video of the ISC, the International Showdown Confederation. We have found the 12 people worthy enough of joining this league. And I am here to explain the rules for this draft. The draft will be tweeted out. Each pick will be tweeted out on Twitter on my account, Charnado300. It will start at, at Tuesday, December 29th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There we go. At Eastern Standard Time. Reason for this is just it was the time that worked best for everyone in the league. So I am here to explain the rules of this draft. It is GBA style rules, which I will get into in a moment. There will be four different, four different com, no, three different com, no, four different conferences, with three people each. And there will be custom tiers that me and Tank decided ETH worth, ETH worth a different amount of points. Now to the GBA rules. The GBA rules are, there are 10 Pokemon plus one Mega. You have to pick every, you have to have 11 Pokemon on your team. Now, there are different tiers for Pokemon. Five tiers are for regular Pokemon and three are for Megas. They're each worth different point amounts. The reason the reason that we found that point amounts were good, so it just it doesn't it stops people from being able to stack their teams with very good Pokemon. So you will not be able to have an entire team of OU Mons. You will not be able to have an entire team filled with wall breakers. They're all gonna be each under a certain a certain tier. Now each tier is worth a certain amount of points. The mega tier the mega tiers are mega tier A, mega tier B, and mega tier C. They A is worth 200 points for your mega. B is worth 150 and C is worth 100 for your mega. You must pick a mega throughout the draft. It does not have to be your first pick, but you must pick a mega. Continuing, we also have five different tiers for the regular Pokémon which is Tier A, Tier B, Tier C, Tier D, and Tier E. They are each worth a different amount of points. Tier A, 200, B, 150, C, 100, D, 75, and E, 50. There is also a Tier A+. plus. It will count as a Tier A pick, but it will be an extra 50 points for Pokemon such as Landorus Incarnate with Sheer Force. Greninja with Protean and Blaziken with Speed Boost are all included in Tier A+. Also, Aegislash will be included in Tier A+, and they will be an additional 50 points, but it will count as a Tier A pick. Now, you must have one Pokemon from every tier, one Mega, and five free agent picks, well, free picks, free slot picks. These picks could be whatever tier you want, but you have to stay within the point limit. If you are not within the point limit, you will have to drop a Pokemon on your team and pick up a Pokemon within your point limit. I don't know why I'm taking very long pauses, but I'm trying to make this sound professional. That is the draft process for the ISC. Now, there are, t now, there are 12 teams. They are each going to be broken into four conferences. The winners of each conference will be in the playoffs. The four conferences will be named after champions. We have the Red Conference, the Lance Conference, the Steven Conference, and the Cynthia Conference. These conferences are prestigious. Now the winner of each conference moves on to the playoffs, and the people with the next two highest records will also make the playoffs. Now the people that have the best two records overall in the league will get a bye week for the first week of the playoffs. The people who have anything under that will battle equaling number three faces the number six, 
number four will face the number five. The winners move on and face each other as one will face the lowest, two will face the second lowest. And then the champions championship will begin. Okay. My dog was just laying on my bed. I was making sure he wasn't chewing his cheeks. That is the playoff process for the ISC. You just saw him fly. That is the playoff process for the ISC. Now, there was one other thing I would like to talk... There was one other thing I was going to talk about. And that was schedules. You will face everyone in the league... I'm pretty sure you will face everyone in the league once. It does not matter about conferences. Conference will just show... Will just order people into groups of play for the playoffs. The people will face one person in the league every week. There is also a bye week for two teams throughout weeks. Wait, I haven't thought about this. Throughout a certain number of weeks. Something tells me, let me just look very quickly and do some quick things. Weeks one, two, three. Yes, weeks one, two, and three. You will have to, there will be no buys. One, two, and three, there will be no buys. There, if we count in every team gets a bye week, six weeks must have buys. And those weeks will be weeks five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, weeks five through ten. No, weeks four through nine will be bye weeks. For different teams. The bye weeks are still undecided along with the schedule. I will give you an update video on that sooner or later. That is basically the rules for the ISC. If there is anything I did not cover, I will get onto it and I'll make a second edition of this. Let me just make sure that I got everything. Oh yes, the draft order. The draft order will be from numbers 1 through 12 in a snake style format which means the number 1 let's just say it's me i will not go until 1 through 12 i will go first turn then i will not go through 1 through 12 and then 12 through 2 again let's say that you are the 12th pick in the first round, you have to wait for everyone else to go before you, but then you get two picks in a row. That is snake style. You go forwards, then backwards, like a snake. I hope that I hope that you enjoy the ISC, which is a league that I and my friend Tank are own, are hosting. Get ready for spectacular performances. Breakout stars. And Pokemon that shine above the rest. This is Charnado, saying goodbye.